What if light, the very essence of our vision, could bend and twist? Imagine the world as we know it, filled with vibrant colors and shapes, shadows and brightness, all made possible by light. Light, an entity so fundamental yet shrouded in mystery. Let's think about it. We've been taught that light travels in straight lines, illuminating our path, guiding us through the darkness. This understanding, however, only scratches the surface of light's true nature. Now, picture this. Light not just darting straight, but bending around corners, twisting and turning, defying our conventional understanding. This concept might seem straight out of a, in a science fiction novel, but it's not. In the world of physics, there's a lot more to light than meets the eye. So if you've ever pondered the enigma that is light, or if you're just hearing about this for the first time, get ready. Well, brace yourselves as we dive into the fascinating world of light. To comprehend the bending and twisting of light, we first need to understand what light is. Light, my friends, is not just the switch you flip on when the sun dips below the horizon. It's a form of energy, specifically electromagnetic energy. Picture it as a series of waves pulsating through the universe, carrying energy from one place to another. These waves are characterized by their wavelength and frequency, two terms that sound like jargon but are actually pretty straightforward. Wavelength is the distance between two consecutive peaks or troughs in a wave. Imagine you're at the beach, watching the waves roll in. The distance from one wave crest to the next, that's your wavelength. Frequency, on the other hand, is the number of waves passing a point in a given time. Imagine counting how many waves crash onto the shore in a minute. That's your frequency. Now these two concepts are inversely related, meaning when one increases, the other decreases. Shorter wavelengths have higher frequencies and longer wavelengths have lower frequencies. It's like a cosmic seesaw where balance is maintained. So where does this all tie into our everyday life? Well, our eyes are sensitive to a particular range of wavelengths, which we know as the visible light spectrum. Yes, the magnificent rainbow of colors we see is just a tiny slice of the broader electromagnetic spectrum. From the long wavelength, low frequency reds, to the short wavelength, high frequency violets, each color is a testament to the varied nature of light. But light is not just about pretty colors. It's a fundamental aspect of our universe, a key player in the grand cosmic dance. Its properties and behaviors shape our understanding of the world around us, and even the farthest reaches of space. Now that we have a basic understanding of light, Let's delve into its peculiar properties. Ever seen a straw looking bent in a glass of water? That's light bending, or as scientists call it, refraction. Refraction is one of those phenomena that, whether you realize it or not, you encounter in your daily life. It's the magic trick behind the bent straw illusion, and it's all about how light behaves when it travels from one medium into another. When light rays pass from one medium to another, say from air to water, they don't just continue in a straight path. Instead, they change direction, they bend. This bending is what we call refraction, and it happens because light travels at different speeds in different mediums. Think of it like this. You're running a relay race, moving at a steady pace on a dry track. Suddenly you hit a patch of mud and your speed decreases. You naturally veer off your original path. That's how light behaves when it hits a different medium. It slows down and changes direction, it refracts. Now, when light hits the water in your glass, it slows down and bends, causing the straw to look disjointed or bent. But the straw hasn't moved at all. It's the light that's playing tricks on your eyes. But refraction isn't just about optical illusions. It has some pretty practical uses too. Ever wonder how eyeglasses help people see better? They work on the principle of refraction. The lenses bend the light in such a way that it focuses directly on the retina, allowing us to see clearly and it doesn't stop there. Microscopes, telescopes, cameras, even our very own eyes, they all use refraction to function. It's a fundamental aspect of how we perceive the world around us. So yes, light indeed bends, but what about twisting? Let's find out. You might find it hard to believe, but light can also twist. Welcome to the world of polarization. Now to grasp polarization, we have to take a step back and understand that light isn't just a single entity, it's a wave, and waves have properties. When we talk about polarization, we're referring to a property of waves that can oscillate with more than one orientation. 
Imagine a jump rope moving up and down. That's one orientation. Now make it move left and right. That's another orientation. Light waves can do the same, oscillating in different directions. So, how does this relate to light being able to twist? Well, when light waves oscillate in more than one direction, we say the light is unpolarized. But when light waves oscillate in just one direction, we say the light is polarized. It's as if the light has decided on a particular path and stuck to it. But wait, there's more. Light doesn't just decide to polarize itself out of the blue. It needs a little push, or rather a filter. This filter only allows light waves oscillating in a particular direction to pass through. You might be using one such filter right now without even realizing it. Ever wonder why your sunglasses help reduce glare? They're polarized. Here's how it works. When sunlight hits a flat surface like the road or a body of water, the reflected light becomes polarized. This means that the light waves are aligning themselves to a single plane, and this can create an intense glare. Polarized sunglasses have a special filter that blocks this horizontally polarized light, thereby reducing glare and making your view clearer. Intriguing, isn't it? How light, simple as it seems, can bend and twist in such complex ways. So we've taken a journey through the fascinating world of light, unraveling its ability to bend and twist. We've explored the unseen corners and dissected the complex phenomena that make light a marvel of nature. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. First off, we delved into the concept of refraction, the bending of light as it passes from one medium to another. We learned that this isn't an accident or an anomaly, but a fundamental property of light. It's the reason why objects submerged in water look distorted, why a pencil appears bent when dipped in a glass of water, and why we see mirages in the desert. It's behind the magic of lenses, magnifying glasses, and even our own eyes. It's a testament to light's versatility, its ability to change course and adapt. Then we navigated to the realm of polarization, the process that filters out certain light waves based on their orientation. This is how your sunglasses protect your eyes from harmful ultraviolet rays or why the sky appears more blue when you look at it from a specific angle. Polarization occurs naturally and is also manipulated for technological purposes. It's a clear demonstration of light's ability to twist and turn, to align itself in specific ways, and to interact with the world around it in meaningful, tangible ways. In essence, refraction and polarization are not just scientific terms. They are the evidence of light's dynamism, its ability to bend and twist, and its fundamental role in how we perceive the world around us. They show us that light is not just a passive observer, but an active participant in our world, shaping our reality in every moment. So, the next time you see a rainbow arching across the sky or put on your sunglasses on a bright sunny day, remember there's more to light than meets the eye. It bends, it twists, it refracts, it polarizes. It's a beautiful dance of physics and nature, 